Welcome everyone. It's good to see you all here again. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. In today's video, we are going to take a look at an aircraft. An aircraft that's designed for ground attack. Yes, the Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt, aka Warthog. Before we jump into the video, if you're new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification. Okay, let's do this. The A-10 Thunderbolt is a single-seat, twin-turbofan, straight-wing, subsonic attack aircraft developed by Fairchild Republic for the United States Air Force. It's no wonder that the enemy of the United States have given the Warthog a different nickname, that is, the Monster. The Warthog entered service in 1976 and first saw combat in Desert Storm 30 years ago. It quickly proved itself against Iraq's military, destroying more than 900 tanks, 1200 artillery pieces, lots of helicopters and thousands of armor fighting vehicles. The A-10 Thunderbolt received many nicknames like Warthog, the Flying Gun, Tank Buster, and the Flying Monster. The aircraft was extensively used during Operation Desert Storm in support of NATO operations, operations in Afghanistan, and operation of Iraqi's freedom. The A-10 is a high survivability and versatile aircraft and is suitable for operation from forward air bases with short takeoff and landing capability. The A-10 has a cantilever low-wing monoplane with a wide cord. The aircraft have a length of 53 feet and a height of 14 feet. The main advantage of the aircraft is its superior maneuverability at low speed and low altitude because of its large wing area. The wingspan of the A-10 Thunderbolt is 57 feet and a wing area of 506 square foot. That allows the aircraft short takeoff and landing. Okay, let's talk about the weight of the aircraft. The empty weight of the aircraft is 11,321 kilograms. The A-10 have an internal fuel carrying capacity of 4,990 kilograms, and the maximum takeoff weight is 22,700 kilograms. The aircraft is designed to be refueled, rearmed, and serviced with minimal equipment. The cockpit and parts of the flight control systems are protected by 540 kilograms of titanium aircraft armor. They call it the bathtub. The armor itself makes up almost 6% of the aircraft's empty weight. The aircraft is designed to be able to fly with one engine half of the tail and even if half of a wing missing. The single seat cockpit of the A-10 Thunderbolt is protected by titanium all-round armor with a bathtub structure to protect the pilot. The cockpit armor is 3.8 cm thick and has been tested to withstand strikes from 23mm cannon and indirect hit from 57mm shell fragments. The cockpit has a large bulletproof bubble canopy which gives all-round vision. The cockpit is equipped with heads-up display for targeting and weapon aiming, quick secure radio communication systems, inertial navigation and a tactical air navigation system. The aircraft is also fitted with terrain profile matching system developed by Bay Systems. The pilot is equipped with night vision goggles and also infrared imaging display of the Maverick AGM-65. The front windscreen and the canopy are also bulletproof. The A-10 Thunderbolt is powered by 
2TF34 GE100 non afterburning turbofan engines supplied by General Electric. Each engine can supply 9065 pounds of thrust. The engines are fitted high on the fuselage, allows the pilot to fly the aircraft fairly easy with one engine inoperable. To reduce the damage to the ATN fuel system, all four fuel tanks are located near the aircraft center and are separated from the fuselage. The engines are protected from the rest of the airframe by firewalls and fire extinguishing equipment. In the event of all four main tanks being lost in combat, there are two self-sealing reserve tanks containing fuel for 370 km of flight. The aircraft have 11 hardpoints, providing an external load capacity of 7,260 kg. The A-10 Thunderbolt can carry rockets, missiles, bombs, and pods. When it comes to rockets, the A-10 can carry up to 4 LAU-61 or LAU-68 rocket launchers. In addition to that, it can also carry 6 LAU-131 rocket launchers. The A-10 Thunderbolt is also capable of carrying up to 10 Maverick air-to-surface missile and AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missile for self-defense. Well, if you really want to blow things up, then you can load the A-10 with bombs like Mark 80 series of unguided iron bombs, MK-77 incendiary bombs, and various type of cluster bombs. The A-10 is also compatible with Lockheed Martin Sniper XR or Lightning Targeting Pods for Electronic Warfare. Gatling Auto Cannon 8 Avenger the General Electric GAU-8 Avenger is a 30mm hydraulic-driven 7-barrel Gatling-style autocannon. Designed specifically to destroy tanks and armor-fighting vehicles, the Avenger delivers a very powerful round at a high rate of fire. The magazine can hold maximum 1,174 rounds, but the typical loadout is 1,150. The Gatling autocannon can fire up to 3,900 rounds per minute without complications. The cannon is placed at the center of the aircraft. This is because the gun's recoil force could push the entire plane off target while firing. The average recoil force of the GAU-8 Avenger is 45 kN. So, the best place to put this 1800 kg of monstrosity is at the center of the aircraft. The A-10 Warthog received many upgrades over the years. By analyzing all these facts, we can surely say that the A-10 Thunderbolt is the king of close air support by supporting troops on the ground with its blistering array of firepower. And we have reached the end of the video. Thank you for your time, don't forget to subscribe and it's time for me to take off. Bye everyone.